Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to talk about today are our licenses. Yes, driver's license. Yay! So listen, <clears throat> in Oregon, okay, so just because this happened in one state, you know, it could possibly happen in other states as well. All right, so because this was sent to me by a community member and she said, this is just another cyber, you know, blah, blah, blah. She said, I live in Oregon. Hopefully it does not go to other states. Well, right on but you just never know, you know? She said, this is an article that she sent me. She said, it's the Oregon driver and motor vehicle services confirmed that an estimated 3.5 million driver's licenses and identification card files were compromised when the agency was hacked two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Bruh, and you're just now putting this out to the public now? So is, Okay, I'm sure there's got to be a way for each <clears throat> state for people to go on to like, you know, DMV or whatever and check and see if their licenses have been compromised. There's got to be a way because who the heck, not for nothing, wants to go to DMV at 8 a.m. in the morning and deal with that, those lines, okay, and, and the crowds and whatnot to say, hi, can you make sure that my uh, information wasn't hacked? You know what I'm saying? So agency spokesperson Michelle Godfrey said Thursday that the agency realized on Monday, four days ago, that the branch had extended to about 90% of the state driver's licenses and ID card files. So only 10% of the state of driver's licenses and ID cards uh, were, were okay. What? The or Oregonian and Oregon life, uh, live life, live? live, love, love, uh, first made inquiries about the security breach on Wednesday. DMV uh, officials took nearly a day to respond with answers. <clears throat> and then Godfrey said that the agency planned to wait until Friday to go public. No, you do it then. Not wait a few more days. Because officials are still preparing agency employees for how to respond to Oregonians. Uh, <clears throat> and their questions and concerns about how to protect themselves. Bruh. All right. I would want to know right then and there, right then and there. So I can contact my bank, so I can contact my credit cards or however, so I can protect myself, not wait a few more days. So Godfrey advised the public to monitor their credit reports for signs of fraudulent activity. Like I said. I would have wanted to know right then and there, not days later. So Godfrey said that state officials became aware on June 1st, June 1st, it's the 20th, that the agency's system had been hacked. Two hours later, the systems were locked down. Locked down. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna be hearing that term a lot more? Okay. so. But she said, we didn't have any information about what data may have been affected at that time. It takes uh, days of analysis to determine that the hack compromised the state's driver's license and ID records. It took, a whole, it took it to a whole new level. A whole new level. I'm about to go to a whole new level if I lived in Oregon, okay? So after the news organization's inquiry, uh, the Department of Transportation issued a press release saying that the agency was among many organizations affected by the breach as a result of a global hack of the data transfer software MoveIt Transfer. So there was a global hack. What? Chief Information Officer Thomas Amato said the agency delayed information or sorry, informing the public out of security concerns because we have been trying to put in place things to prepare Oregonians for this announcement. He said the state didn't want to reveal too much in evidence to the actual threat actors who could use our verification of their attacks as leverage and also to be able to prepare the kinds of resources to present it to the people of Oregon. Whoa. Sensitive personal information on millions of holders of driver's license and, and ID cards were compromised. And Amato declined to detail the kinds of information hackers gained access to. And with these new smart IDs, <clears throat> where they have that 
Well, on ours, we have like this little gold star type thingy and it literally holds like all of your info. Yeah. And they said, I think for security purposes, we're not going to discuss exactly what data points were potentially included in that file. What we're gonna, what we're saying is if you have an Oregon driver's license or ID permit, driver's permit, you can assume that the data associated with that credential has been compromised. The agency has used a popular file sharing tool since 2015. On June 1st, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency issued a zero day vulnerability alert that said the software had a vulnerability which could allow an attacker to take over an infected system. A third party security specialist determined that multiple files had been assessed by un access, sorry, by unauthorized actors before the agency received the official alert. We do not have the ability to identify if any specific individual's data has been breached. Really? Individuals who have an active Oregon ID or driver's license should assume information related to that ID as part of the breach. The agency issued the following guidance for people who think they have been affected. Under federal law, you have the right to receive at your request a free copy of your credit report every 12 months from each of the three consumer credit reporting agencies. A credit report can provide information about those who have received your credit history. It's annualcreditreport.com. When you receive your credit reports, check for any transactions or accounts that you don't recognize. If you see anything you don't understand, call the telephone listed, the telephone number listed on the credit report or visit the uh, FTC website on identity theft at consumer.gov slash ID theft. Additionally, you may wish to ask each of the credit monitoring agencies to freeze your credit files. Equifax, Experion, or TransUnion. Wow. Talk about going to a whole new level. I would be flipping out right now. But yeah, like this community member said, go into other states. I hope it doesn't. But like they said in the article, this was a global hack. Oh my word. I. I'm going to have to ask my husband if there's a way that we can go online and find out if our, um, our driver's licenses were, um, you know, compromised in any way. All right, guys, I'm out of here. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao.